Now we have Chris Shortell, who is a marketing director. Thank you for being on the show, Chris. Thanks for having me. Uh, so tell me, what was your first job and how old were you at that time? My first job was working at what was Caldors. And uh, Caldors. you're probably too young to remember, but Coles. Coles. Up at, by Meriden, you know, up, up yeah. almost at the town line. That used to be a store called Caldors. And Caldors was kind of like kind of like Target uh, is today. Uh, and so there was a, it was basically a department store that sold everything. It sold books, it sold toys. And I worked there the summer of my after my junior year in high school. I was supposed to, I was 17. Uh, I was old enough, I would have worked the previous summer, but we were moving. Yeah. And so my parents actually paid, well, they didn't pay me, now that I think about it, but I helped, <laughs> my mom was pregnant, and so I helped, basically my job that summer was to help them move. Yeah. So then I, I didn't work the school year. So I worked, I was 17 years old in the summer of 89, and then worked at Calpers. Oh, that's cool. So, um, so how did you get this first job? You know, just, they were, uh, advertising for for summer help so a lot of students were uh, applying and it was basically like 20 20 hours a week so it was four hour yeah. shifts you'd work from like six four nights usually you'd work uh, like five thirty to nine thirty. Cause the store yeah. closed at nine thirty. so I, I saw it and i think we saw it in the paper and i applied for it and uh, they hired me yeah. so were there any transportation issues no i had a car we had a, i was able to drive there I, I was it was five minutes from my house oh, all right was, so was, was your first job what you expected it to be I think it was because I'd grown up going there. Yeah. It, it was one of those places. I remember being a kid, and I, I don't know if this would happen today. I mean, now that I'm a parent, I guess maybe it wouldn't happen. But I remember going up there as a kid, you know, as a nine year old with my parents. And, you know, they'd go in one section of the store. I'd go to the Star Wars toys. <laughs> the Star Wars was out. And it was just a store that I'd grown up going to. You yeah. know, I knew I'd go, to the, I'd go to different sections. So I, it was kind of what I, I would say, yes, it was what I expected to be. I think probably the one thing that, I didn't ex think about was I, I associated the store with all the things I liked sports, yeah. Star Wars, books, music. Yeah. <laughs> well, they also sold, you know, housewares uh, and they yeah. sold rugs yeah. and they sold pots and pans. And so of course when you're when you're there they assign you to different sections of the store. So yeah. there were times where my assignment that day was to just walk around the houseware section yeah. and keep it clean and you know, I so that you know, those days were a little bit boring because I wasn't yeah. really used to you know, straightening out pots and pans all the time. But yeah. but overall, it was it was cool. There were a lot of young people. Yeah. And it was a good uh, good group, and we, we we had fun. Yeah, it sounds fun. So, um, what was your most memorable experience at the job? Oh man. Uh, well, I mean, there were there were a couple. I there, there you know there, there was one. Can I give you two? Yeah, sure. Two, two is one because one of them I I tell the story today. I still tell my my wife has heard it a lot. So there was a guy. They would page you. They would, they would have like the, the courtesy desk or the yeah. customer service desk. So if they needed someone to come to them, like if, if I was working in the toy section, just working there and there was a yeah. line, they would say, you know, cashiers to the front. Yeah. And sometimes they would call you by name. The supervisor would call you over the PA system. So uh, there was a guy that worked there and his name was John Wright. And this, they, so they would say, you know, they, they always called you Mr. Mr. Shortel. Yeah. So they'd say, Mr. Wright, please come to the front. Yeah. And as a joke, I would always go, and they're like, "We didn't call you. Like you called Mr. Wright. I'm Mr. Wright." And they 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 thought it was funny the first time, but after a few times, they didn't think it was funny. But that was I still tell that story. But the other, I would say the most memorable experience was uh, they had those two-way mirrors that are sort of on top of the, uh, and every store has them today. So yeah. there are these mirrors that that are. Well, I mean, they don't have them today because now they have. They have all these cameras, but yeah. they, they, they have these, basically they were there to catch shoplifters. And so, yeah. so this, throughout the store, you'd see these, these mirrors by the ceiling. So we, uh, another friend of mine and I, we, we were obsessed with these mirrors. We wanted to get up there and see them. <laughs> so one day, because behind, you could, you could, you know, all behind the whole perimeter of the store was a, you know, it was like a warehouse. And then the store yeah. was the part that you saw as a customer, but behind it was just storage. So one day we actually climbed, there was a ladder. And we oh. climbed up into this into the little booth where the mirror was, and there were binoculars there, and it was it was hilarious. And then the store manager was I mean, it was if you got caught, it was it was bad. They, they could fire you. Oh. We were supposed to go up there. So the store manager, one of us heard the store manager walking back, and we uh, my friend hightailed it down and distracted him, oh. and then I snuck down. It was but it was it was just funny. We we, started, we almost got caught, but we we survived. Uh, yeah. but we, we joke about that, but. Uh, 
I guess it just stuff like that was memorable. Again, it was a lot of young people. It was, yeah. It was fun. Yeah. So, um, what did you want to be while you were growing up? Oh, man. Uh, I wanted to be a sports writer. Um, I loved reading and writing. And my grandfather was a sports writer uh, with, the, with the Red Sox, actually. He covered the Red Sox and covered a lot of Boston teams. So, growing up, he got me really into football. Yeah. And baseball, and so I really wanted to, to do that. I'm not sure what happened. I'm not sure what happens. I'm not a sports writer, but I I, I think really just doing something with writing. I, and I, the jobs that I've held since then have all involved some kind of writing anyway. Yeah. So, um, but that was what I wanted to be when I grew up. So, did lessons from your first job influence your future work experience? A little bit. I think there were two things from that first job. I think, you know, you t- you hear the the cut the phrase the customer is always right. Yeah. And so I think working in retail is is the best example of that because you, you know, you you you're on you're right there you're, you're on the front lines with the customer yeah. and, you know, sometimes they are right sometimes they're not but either yeah. way you have to treat them with respect yeah, and if you want to stay in business, you know you have to uh, treat them well so that would be one lesson that stood with me I think in other jobs where the customer wasn't you weren't as close to the customer I think always yeah. keeping the customer in mind. Because even if you're not as close, even if you're not working in a job that's interacting with customers, what you are doing at some point will influence the product the customer gets. So yeah. you have to always remember that. And I think the second thing was just working well with with trying to work well with different personalities. There was this one. There were three supervisors there. They they wrote, or three managers that kind of rotated. And there was one no one liked. I don't even remember the na- their names anymore. But there was one that nobody liked, and they were all afraid of her. And I got along with her really well, and I have no idea why I got along with her, but it, it was something that, um, what it taught me was don't necessarily, just because everyone tells you, oh, she's the bad one, or she's yeah. hard, you know, she's hard to get along with, don't listen to that, you know, form your own opinions, because yeah. I got along with her great, and, and it helped me, um, so anyway, I guess those were the two big lessons. Yeah, pretty big lessons, it sounds like it. Um, so if, if you could use one word to describe your first job, what would that word be? Fun. Fun. It was fun. I think it was, it, of the jobs I held, you know, before I, I got out of college, so there were a couple, I worked at Stop and Shop the next summer. Caldors was way better than Stop, Stop and Shop was bad. I mean, I did not like, no, I mean, I shop there now, great store. Yeah. I did not like working at Stop and Shop because you were stuck behind the register. There was nothing, there was nothing oh, else yeah. to do. I mean, you were, you were either, you know, if that, if that was your job, that's all you did. But it was fun. It was just uh, a lot of, again, you meet a lot of people, uh, you know, the people were younger, kind of people I worked with, and uh, it was just something that they were just a good bunch of people, and, and I, you know, I got, I did learn a lot. Yeah. So, if you could, would you do it over again, you know, like your first job? Oh, yeah, I would have. I would, I, they weren't hiring the next summer. I, I was going into my senior year at Xavier, and I was just, I couldn't, you know, that we, we were going to, they were actually going to let me stay on and work on Sundays throughout yeah. the school year, but it just wasn't going to, it was too much going on. Yeah. My parents didn't really, didn't really want me committing to that, so I ended up leaving in in September. And I tried to get back in the following uh, the following summer before I went to college, and they weren't hiring. Oh. So yeah, I absolutely would have done it again. Yeah. It was a great first job to have. It sounds like a great first job. And then our last question would be: Do you have any success tips for those who are seeking their first job? If you're seeking your first job, you know, I think if you're in high school, you know, you take what you can get. I think yeah. you. Uh, just, just try to find something. I think anything you do, you, you will be able to draw experience from it. Yeah. Um, but I also think you should have try to have fun. You know, don't to the extent that you can. I mean, it, it life is too short, and uh, I definitely appreciated that job in subsequent jobs where it, there weren't as many young people and it wasn't as fun. So I would say try to have fun, but but don't you know definitely try to get the experience and then sort of uh, use that going forward. Yeah. Well, there we have it. Chris Shortell, a marketing director. Thank you for being on the show, Chris. Thank you for having me. Yeah.